Hey everybody, Nigel here with you again with another review and um, here we are, it's late at night, I can't sleep, it's too hot. Fed up with this heat now, I've, I've had enough of it. So um, I thought I'd do a review of this kit which I've just got from uh, Dave Coley's Emporium. So remember I did a review on those Viejo paints and I said about how cheap, the, how cheap it was and the service was fantastic and the delivery was really quick. So I ordered this from him, this is the... Um, Aircraft Rescue and Firefighting ARF truck, <laughs> AA60, and um, it's from a and Models, which is basically a wing of Modelsvit, the other PVV. You know, I did that great big uh, Rustlin um, AN124. Um, I did a review of that kit, that was Modelsvit, in 72nd scale, and these are the same company, and you can see the packaging and everything, and the, the plastics look very similar. So um, here we can see, making sure you're not glaring out, um, up in here we've got an exclusive product, which basically means no one else makes this kit. Uh, plastic parts 192, five different decal options, which is nice. You've got paint, ma paint masks, which is nice, and separate door parts because you've got very detailed cab interiors. Um, you can see it's a 172nd scale. Catalog number is 7201. The built-up model has got a length of 199mm, width of 44, a height of 46 and as we said earlier 192 parts so going around the box we've got four schemes shown here there are actually five um, but uh, two of them are just um, from the same airport but different numbers so um, yeah four, four schemes shown there 14 plus made in Ukraine um, end of the box there has got the image and this is actually an image if you look at these close up you can see this is a built up model um, and this is this is the same kit but in a different livery you can see on the front of the box here you've got the this is also the built-up model but you've got the um the red wheels the white stripe there white bumper and the white on the um or is that silver on the actual fire extinguisher part whereas on this one you've got the white bumper but this is red and you've got black wheels so basically there's a little bit of difference in the in the different liveries and also on the side of the box there you can see this is where i got it from www.davecoleysemporium.co.uk have a look on there fantastic prices really really good um, he's got a batch of the models of it AN225s coming in 72nd scale and yes I've ordered one he charges about 450 pound for him which is uh, which is a good price um, and also if you remember when I got the Vallejo paints I got a free gift and here we go <laughs> another free gift and this is a pair of cutters and he doesn't actually sell these he only does them free so he has these made and then sells them so you've got uh, you've got his name down the side there in Protect Modeling Tools which is, is his brand name for his own tools so um, yeah, these are basically a, a pair of your sort of common garden cutters he does do a nice set of nippers which are single edge which I must get and try but um, yeah, really, really nice. So um, wasn't expecting that. You know, it's like a twenty-two pound kit, I think it was. And then you know, that's, that's a good five was worth there. So yeah, really, really cool. So thanks for that, Dave. Really, really chuffed. So a top top opening box, as you can see, the cover is nice and glossy. And inside we've got the typical sort of you know instructions here, which fold out, which look very nice. And then we've got one bag here with various different bags inside it. You can see we've got our decals, we've got our masks. Stick here which says AA60. And then all the sprues are there, sort of rolling around together. And you can see there's a little bit of damage on the bag there where that's been knocking around in there. But, um, you know, it's what we come to expect with a lot of smaller kits these days. At least some of the parts are separately bagged. So, um, what I'll do is get this out of the way and we'll have a look at the instructions. Okay, so we can uh, clearly see now that we've got... Uh, non shiny instructions which is nice so basically you've got an image of the model there it's just telling us what it said on the box we've got a legends here which is the symbols to look out for when we're building and we've got this in ukrainian and in english so that's a good touch um, and then it's saying yeah, this is a complete set so these are all your sprues here and you can see you've got a lot of parts and they've also got nice bold numbers on this so you can actually see what the part numbers are rather than many kits these days that just um, disappear um, and we've also got, um, here going over the page, you've got some more sprues there, there's our wheels and tyres. If you remember, I made some resin wheels for the, uh, for the mass chassis, so maybe using them, I will be building this. Um, we've got our nice masks there, we've got clear parts here, and then we've got a lovely decal sheet there. Colour call-outs are all in Humbrol, 
which is unusual these days, um, but easily um, easily readable across. So you can read those across to your Tamiya or Viejo or whatever you wish to use. Um, so we're starting off here with the cab assembly, and as you can see, it's very very detailed. Um, we've got a lot of parts going in here. We've got decals going in uh, for the instruments. We've got our um, bottles there, they're black, so they're probably CO2. Uh, and then we've got the, the doors there, which you can see are separate, so you can pose them open. Um, and then the other side, you've got the, I'm, I'm assuming this will be the guide controlling the fire extinguisher part. And uh, again, you've got separate doors, separate glazing, separate instrument panel, all very nicely detailed. And we've got the engine cover here going on. Well, it's not actually the engine cover, is it? It's actually the um, all the radiators and the transmission and the cooling and everything. Um, support area basically the engine is actually at the front of the chassis then we're straight into actually building up the main body which is very unusual you're, you're actually going to build this up and it all needs to be nice and square and and held tight and everything but as I say we I will build this so we'll see how we go um, then we're going to add our suspension arms to the chassis and we're going to add some um, drive axles in there as well so we need to look at that, how we're going to get it all square, all nice and flat, make sure that all the uh, eight, all eight wheels sit on the ground. There's nothing worse than building a, something like this and having one wheel off the ground. It just makes it look like a toy. So then we're going to add all the body and everything onto the chassis, or basically we're adding the chassis onto the body, really. Um, and then adding the front cab units. We've got the engine cover there with the air intakes on the top. Front bumper with the radiator grill. And then we've got the bash plate on the bottom. Um, not a lot of detail on the chassis under here. There is a lot of steering gear under here, which trumpets are actually missing 35th scale. So you can excuse these guys. If you want all that detail, go for the main kit. It's in there and, um, and beautiful. Um, then we're going to build up the tank. So we've got the actual uh, water tank there. And then we've got some boxes and something or other there. Some other bits and pieces and greeblies. We've got some steps on the back and some little handles and stuff to grab hold of. Um, and then we've got some more greeblies and bits and pieces and lights and everything going here. And it's got our paint coats telling us to paint those uh, lights red and amber. And then we've got the actual fire extinguisher itself. That's going to go up on there, onto the front of the onto the front of the body. You can see it being mounted there. And then we've got support here. We've got our mirrors going on, and then we've got our wheels going in, and all the little felt, the little fragile railings and stuff going on the top. So all in all, um, as with all kit reviews we can look at it and say that it's really really detailed if it doesn't fit together then it's not very good but if it does fit together it's a great building process it's not it's not too bad I mean you're, you're doing the fragile parts at the end they're not telling you to add all the mirrors and little you know greebies onto the top of the cab and everything right at the beginning you're adding them here at the end so really really thought out and probably planned by a guy who builds models himself so color schemes here we've got the the first one this is for Kiev um, airport obviously in Kiev and then we've got this one here which is Kiev in uh, Zhulenyi and this I'm not, I, I don't profess to know anything about this I've, I've basically looked it up on Google but basically there's two airports in or adjacent to Kiev one is in Zhulenyi and the other one is actually in Kiev so that's where those two airports are there um, this one you can see is 2005 this one has no no period at all and then coming over the page here we've got another three options so we've got uh, Airport Zhukovsky, um, that one is actually in Russia, so that could be a Russian version if you want to do a Russian, that's got the red wheels and everything and you've got your, your Russian writing on the side there. And then this one, well these two, these are Airport Amati, I'm, I'm assuming it said Amati, uh, and this is number two and this one's number four, and they both look pretty much the same other than they've got a two and a four on the door there you can see. Um, and these, the Almaty is basically in Kazakhstan. So I think if I build this, I think I might do that one because I think with those white wheels and everything, it'll look great. And you've also got the masks and everything to, 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 to do it. So it should make it quite easy. Paint the wheels white first, put the masks on, mask the tire, paint the red, mask the middle, paint the tire. So I think that would be um, quite good. Let's see how good the masks are. Um, if I don't do that one, it'll probably be that one because I like the, uh, the colour on there. So there we go. So packaging, as I say, we've got a bag <clears throat> with uh, various bits and pieces in it. So what I do like about models of it, they use these um, Ziploc bags, so they're easily resealable. It's not like those horrible wrinkly 
crinkly things you get from most other manufacturers and you also haven't got your Tamiya staples to deal with so um, yeah there we go so we've got a bag here with our decals and our um, masking in and then we've got our sprues here clear parts are in another resealable bag and all uh, nicely protected they've all stayed on the sprue nothing's broken off so we've got no no splintering or anything there so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven sprues so to build up a little truck that's going to be like this big there's a lot of plastic in there so let's get the camera a bit closer and have a look at some of these parts in detail right so moving forward let's have a look at the decals first very very small decal sheet as you can see very very flat very very thin I'm not sure how they're going to perform but they are separate they're not like um, some of the uh, decal sheets you get from sort of smaller run manufacturers you have to actually cut them out but these if you just floated the whole sheet in water they would come off separately um, whereas if you watched my B52 review the other day I showed you those um, decals from Allmark and they were just one sheet so you'd have to cut them out otherwise they would just float off as one decal so uh, yeah we've got some markings there for Kiev got the uh, registration plates and then we got all sorts of different insignias and emblems and stuff I'm not sure what that's saying there but that's um, a little logo down there International Airport so um, yeah very nice all legible and then we've got our masks here which are uh, they feel like a kind of paper but they may be vinyl um, in fact yes they are vinyl but they they look to be beautifully die cut and very very clean edges on them so we've got our uh, masking for the stripes for the sides and then we've got all our window masks here um, that's masking for the vertical lines on the back end that more window masks there in fact it may be mirrors and then we got our wheel masks there for the white wall tires which will look incredible especially if you did some weathering on them and had some radial lines on them they'd look great so there we go um, but obviously those wheel masks it all depends how good they are so I'm just going to go through the sprues as they I've got them piled up here I'm just going to go through them as they as they appear so this one is sprue K and uh, we've got two of these so just need to look at one of them and these are obviously our wheels and we've got some nice detail on them we've got some nice tread detail no flat spots um, I do believe these things did have a flat spot but um, the, the ones you kind of see in museums have been sat around for ages so it's hard to tell but they have got some very nice stud detail and there's no tire lettering or anything on them but there is some very nice um, stud detail on the actual wheels themselves you can see there and on the back face there's nothing much at all but um nice tread detail and everything when you compare them to the resin ones I've done um, you know very very similar if anything their wheel is a lot more defined so probably stick with these to be honest but um dealing with the seam might be a bit of a problem so there we go then this sprue here this is all we're little greeblies so here we've got the, the grab rails for the top of the tank Another one there, another one there, another one there. Um, all these little foot loops, ladders, uh, mirrors, and everything. I will show you close up in a sec. A little bit flashy, but as I say, it's a sort of low low run kit, a uh, short run kit kind of thing. So we can see we've got a mirror there. It's got a tiny little sink mark in it, but you know, make sure it's focused. Bits and pieces, all bits and pieces of greeblies and everything. Bear in mind guys this is 70 second scale so it's all absolutely tiny and then here we've got our fire extinguisher equipment so we've got the actual support there for it here's the actual nozzle we'll have to draw the end of that out and then we've got the pipe work here going into the tank and then some bits and pieces that are going on the back here there's one of the mountings this, these are the two flares that come out of the side very very nice very cleanly moulded that one actually there's very little seam line on there and um, it's quite a soft plastic it feels very kind of like revelish it's not as soft as airfix but it feels like a like a revel kit as I say I will be building this so we'll see 
this one here could well be doubled up I'm not sure but um, I think it probably is no four oh there's the other four I was looking there are only four axles but there's four in the middle so uh, yeah these are our suspension uprights so you know it's, it's adequate for a 70 second scale model um, I think the um, model collect chassis is far more detailed but it's a lot more a lot more difficult to build and a lot more complex so I think this will go together a lot easier and easier to get all everything all settled so the wheels sit straight and everything um, the model collect kit is very very complex in this area especially when it comes to the instructions <laughs> so um, yeah again a little bit of flash but uh, very very nice for what it costs it's like 20 22 and 59 or something it was I think um, then we've got the tank here, it's got some lovely detail on the top of the tank, lower side of the tank. Uh, my advice to anyone building this, if you're going to start it, first thing to do is glue that together and get that, that seam go off and, uh, and deal with it. So yeah, you can see the detail on the top of there which is really nice. Look good with the, with the wash and stuff on it, we'll take that out. Then we've got our chassis rails here. Which you've got the torsion bar mountings and everything there again this one's flash free it's quite a nice feeling plastic um, i'm assuming that's going to be a base going along the bottom not sure uh, this is the, the where the engine would be um, and then we've got body mounts and everything here but it's minimal detail but like i say it's 70 second scale that's what we have to remember so yeah very nice we'll give you some close-up detail there of the suspension the detail that you do get and obviously with this being any sort of an enclosed body it's all covered up anyway and here we're getting onto some proper body parts so um this is going to be our these are our side covers for the this is the top cover for the uh, cooling area and everything where the radiators and everything are behind the cab um, i'm looking at that that's probably the base of that that's the top of it there's your bash plate there it's going on the front with your sump guard and you've got the two cab roofs here this is the engine cover, so this sits in between the two cabs. That's the front of the of this. That's the front of the radiator area. Uh, that's the back, and there's your front bumper there with your radiator grill and all your light detail and everything in there. Looking lovely. No doubt somebody's done some photo etch for this, so you'll have the tiny, tiny little photo etch metal frames that go around the lights. And then this sprue here is all the back end. This is the back end bodywork. Uh, I'm not sure what these square plates are here. They're probably mud flaps or something. And then we've got some tread plates here. This is the tread plate on the back. And that's going to be the base for the uh, for the water tank to sit in. And you can see some nice detail on there. And the sides of the bodywork so the inside's got some mounting and everything mounting positions for fitting all the stuff in and then your side detail is all good and then there's your back end there no openable doors or anything but again in 70 second scale would you really want that you can see the details all there it's nice and crisp as I say paint it red give it some streaks and some rain marks and rust and God knows what. Just remember with this, don't put rust marks on the cabs, they're fiberglass. So yeah. And then this is the final grey sprue, and this is our gonna be our cabs. So this is obviously generic for everything on a Maz 537 chassis. So um you can see here we've got our this is our driver's cab interior. And it's got some stunning detail on there for semi-second scale, it's great. We've got decals and stuff to go in there. We've got our floor with our foot pedals in which is lovely. We've got the front panels here for both sides and we've got our doors. We've actually got interior door. There is a little injector pin mark there but we've got interior door detail which is really nice. Little steering wheel there, instrument panel. There's another panel there. Then we've got the steps moulded in as one so you have to be careful not to break them off. Seats with the uh, textured texture cushion on them which is nice. Yeah, all um, all very nice, I think, for this scale. As I say, see how it goes together. It may be an absolute 
pig, but who knows? You know, for a manufacturer to put box art, which is only box art, the only art on the box is of the built-up model, that tells you something. And then we've got our clear parts here, which aren't the best. Um, you can see that they're quite... You can see the quite rough finish on there, unfortunately. So, but they're so small, they'd be so easy to make with acetate. Just, or maybe try dipping them. If you dip them, they may come clear, but they've got quite a rough finish on them. Is it mould release? No. So, yeah, it's um, be worth trying to dip them or just cut some out of acetate. You can see that one there in particular. It's... Uh, not the best, but you know, it's a fairly newish company. Um, I think they actually started out in 2017, so um, you kind of excuse them for that. So there we go. That has been the, as I almost said, models of it then. The AA models, um, AA60 fire truck, and if you've got a Russian diorama or something with 70 second scale then um, it's nice to have these vehicles around them. When I was at a show last year in in Thornbury near Bristol uh, there was a guy there I, I, I did actually put some pictures on my channel uh, with a sort of a couple of Russian models on them on display and he had some trucks on there just to give a feeling of scale and it really really worked because he had um, I can't remember a big Russian bomber there and uh, he had a couple of trucks there, a, a, a fuel fueling truck and stuff, and it just made the planes look massive. So, which they obviously they are. So, you know, stuff like this is really really good to have. So, as I say, AA models uh, or ANA models available from um, Dave Coley's Emporium. There's the web address. Go take a look at the website. And as I say, if you want to get yourself one of those AN two two fives from him. Uh, £450 is the price. So um, he's got some coming in. Go and order one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all soon with another review. Bye for now.